Hey guys, this is Sarah and I just wanted to do a little quick review of a product that I'm pretty sure I haven't actually posted a review of on my channel. And it is this, here we go, Miradesto All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. Now I know that I've put up a video in the past about their just regular moisturizer, their untinted version. Um, this is what I'm actually wearing on my face. Um, so I haven't powdered it, I have done nothing to it. I literally, I put it right on, I just threw some bronzer onto my eye. Well, technically a bronzer. I don't know what that noise was about. Um, ah! The ah, Bomb Desert. Anyway, it's one of their bronzer samples. I guess it's in Desert? Or it's in Take a Dip. I'm not really, really 100% on that. Um, little bit of Kat Von D tattoo liner, a little bit of Ico mascara, and uh, this is actually Clinique's Black Honey Almost Lipstick. I think that's what it is um, on the lips. So, my skin naturally does have a fair amount of redness and in fact I can kind of see the I had a very large cystic pimple last year and uh, it's kind of left a scarry divot it's really not cool and yeah it's not been a lot of fun so this stuff it's pretty good it provides pretty decent I wouldn't even necessarily call it coverage it's more like it just evens my skin and it looks really great I really love the finish and it's wonderful if you just need to get out the door and I think that's the great thing about Miradesso's products is that they really do try very hard excuse me whew, to um to make sure <laughs> I'm distracted because the mirror is right there uh, and I wanted to come in here and give you guys good lighting instead of at my computer where it, then it got all cloudy. Um, but yeah, no, it's a really great product. And Miriadesso makes really great stuff. Um, my one issue with this is that it's a very thick consistency. Now, I use two pumps, which I can't show you what that looks like because I'm running low. And... This is what it looks like. It is a pump, which is great. Um, this unscrews. The problem is that I'm going to have to physically crack into this because the product is thick enough. Ooh, I hear my dog. We're going to go get my dog. Um, the product is thick enough. We're going to go this way. Are we going to go this way? Yeah, we're going to go this way. The product is thick enough. Oh, it's so dark. That... Socks! Come on! So professional. Come on! There we go. Oh, nice. The product is thick enough that, um, when you're applying it to your skin, now they say that it's buildable coverage. Uh, I, where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Chewy. You wanna come up here? Come on up. Wanna take the chewy? Take the chewy. Take the chewy. Off she goes. So, I wouldn't say it's buildable. I mean, it is buildable to an extent. The problem is that it's also, of course, a tinted moisturizer. Now, although it sits on the, I don't want to say drier end, because it is really moisturizing. It's such a strange product. Um, the texture, when it dries, when it settles in, is lovely I mean it doesn't look dewy but you definitely look bright eyed and bushy tailed um you definitely I would definitely want an under eye concealer if you didn't have dark ass circles like I do Mimi you wouldn't need it 
if you were like 17, maybe you wouldn't need it. Um, all in all, I like the product. I like the physical product. Um, I paid, well, I bought it with Birchbox points. And although I love it, and I say the same thing about the Myriad SO, it's a wonderful product. And I'm not saying that it's not worth a lot of money, but where I'm gonna have to fight for that last bit to come out of the container, it's not worth it. It's not a full ounce. Um, I paid, well, it was 45 on, yeah, for, was that? It's either 20 or 30 mils. It's 0.7 fluid ounces. So when a standard, here we go, uh, when a standard foundation size is one ounce and I have one, actually, no, I think those are all one ounce too. Um, even my BB creams. Are you one ounce? I feel like you're one ounce. Probably one ounce. Also, this is really good BB cream. If you have very dry skin, this is so emollient. It's a little bit much for me, but I still love it on occasion. If I really powdered, it's okay. Um, so yeah, the Myriad Esso, it's good, but... If their packaging was different, if the cream wasn't as thick, if I'm not gonna have to get it the last of this with a saw, as it is today, it finally stopped being willing to come out of the pump. I unscrewed the cap and I had to actually take it off of the, the sort of draw tube from the pump. So I'm going to have to be looking into a beauty spatula or something like that. And I don't know where I get those, maybe Sally's. Um, but yeah, is it worth $45, $40? <sighs> I think yes. If you're somebody that's not really into foundation, you just want something that's going to brighten up your skin, even out your redness. You don't have really dark circles. It's definitely travel friendly. It's all of the things, your primer, your eye cream, your everything else, all of that all in one. Um, I'm combination uh, and I've been wearing this a good amount of the summer and in the summer I lean more oily. I haven't felt like I've needed to powder it when I've worn it on my own. Um, we're getting more into the winter now. We're in that transition period. My skin is going crazy and I feel like it does a pretty good job at masking the normal levels of redness. Um, could I use concealer? Yes. Have I at least on the majority of my face skipped the step of foundation? Absolutely. I have definitely done that. So it has in that sense absolutely saved me some time and effort. It blends like a dream. I just apply it with my hands. I don't apply it with a brush because at the heart of it, it is a moisturizer. It is a very nice product. If you don't mind annoying packaging, if you travel a lot and you need something that's very portable, um, this is a plastic container, but it's it's heavy, like it doesn't feel cheap. You know, there's nothing about this product that has felt cheap or flimsy or awful. And the fact that it's gonna be a pain in the ass for me to get into, but it also means that like, I feel if you traveled a lot, like it's a little bit of a struggle, like you have to work to get this cap off. One-handed, you can do it, but you've gotta try. I feel like this would be really secure if it was in your luggage. Um, I think the best part is I feel like it's, it's under an ounce, so it should be okay with airport security. Uh, so yeah, my, my biggest complaint is probably the packaging. This is the packaging that they use with their moisturizers and their cleanser. I've got their cleanser here. All of it comes in the same sort of style of packaging. Um, the cleanser has the bonus of being thinner, so I'm not concerned that I'm going to lose a lot of product in here. But of course, again, it's this opaque packaging, so I don't know how much is in here. 
Um, the cleanser, by the way, is nice. Uh, I don't have really anything bad to say about it. It's The only way that it lets me down is the way that most cleansers let me down, which is that it has trouble with my waterproof makeup and I have to wear waterproof makeup because I'm blinky. Um, it also comes with a... Filthy right at the moment. <laughs> nice. Um, microfiber cloth to use with it. I did not really see the benefit of microfiber cloths over like a standard face cloth until I started using this cleanser and I definitely believe that as an everyday exfoliant they are fantastic because it leaves your skin just feeling polished. I've tried that cloth with a couple of other cleansers. I've tried the cleanser with just like a standard face cloth or even on its own. Um, it's all good. Together they're really awesome. Together they're in fact I would say the best and I can definitely see why that combination is worth it. The cleanser was the same price as, yeah, the cleanser I think was $45 um, and you get four US fluid ounces um, and I have to say that it is amazing. It has all the same benefits of being calming and gentle and wonderful like my Cetaphil but while still being effective at removing my makeup with and without the cloth more effective with the cloth I will say that um, it is an absolute dream and I haven't been good about using it as much lately but I do really love it um, when I am wearing heavier waterproof makeup and stuff lately, just at the moment, I have been using it in combination with the Garnier Nourishing Cleansing Oil. This stuff is weird and leaves like a weird scum, so I definitely like need to follow that up with something. And so the Miradesso definitely does the job. Um, and honestly, it takes off everything except my waterproof mascaras. Um, even with the eye coat, like I can get it off, but it takes a bit of work and so it's easier to use something that's actually like an eye makeup remover to see if I can like melt it a little bit so I don't have to abuse my eyes quite as much. Anyway, that is everything that I have to say on those. I mean, I definitely recommend them. If you're looking for a really good sort of skincare system that will in very few steps and very little bother do you some absolute good and be really sweet to your skin and be gentle and you don't have i would say if you don't have a huge amount of acne or you want something for like most days if you're somebody who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup if you literally just want a moisturizer with a little bit of tint just even things up I can think of loads of people who would really love this because it also has the bonus like this, the moisturizer, if I put it on and I don't put on anything else, I still feel like I look pretty damn good. Um, it is pigmented, but I also find it doesn't like do that weird thing where it sticks to like my eyelashes and everything else and like blanks out my entire face. You know, it's sheer coverage if I'm gonna do my makeup then I like because I want to look like a poreless porcelain doll. I'm gonna be honest about that. But in general, very good products. I absolutely recommend them. I recommend the cleanser. I recommend the tinted moisturizer. I recommend the regular moisturizer. If you're not into tints at all, you just want something that's really, really good. They're beautiful products. Um, the moisturizer, the all-in-one moisturizer, the full size is 120. I absolutely adore that product. I have had a couple of samples. I have a couple of samples right now in my special sample box. And it's wonderful stuff. I just can't justify, no matter how big of a bottle it is, $120 on a single product at this point in time in my life. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.